In Philadelphia today, there's two major stories. The first is a new young quarterback is going to be starting for the Philadelphia Eagles. Will it make a difference? You see, in Philadelphia, the Philadelphia Eagles are always the center of attention. But the second story, close behind, is one that has incredible significance. The vaccine is also heading to town and into the community, a vaccine against COVID. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian McDonough. I've been asked repeatedly, what do I think? What do I think about the vaccine, side effects, and what it means to us in the long run? Let me start off by saying I'll probably be getting it in the next few days. I believe in it enough that I want to get it because I believe that any risks are totally outweighed by the benefits, especially if you're taking care of patients, you're over 50, and you're in a setting where you're exposed to people with COVID or presumed to have COVID or suspected to have COVID. It's something we've been waiting for for quite some time. The interesting thing about this is that we are in a different period of time in the history of the world where people actually will be able to talk about COVID, talk about the vaccine, and talk like I am on social media, traditional media, write about it. There's going to be a lot of information out there. So the first thing, and I think the most important aspect of this vaccine, is transparency and openness. We need to make sure that everyone tells the truth and talks about side effects or concerns. So what do we know right now? What we know is that through early trials, more than two months, and I'll talk about why that's important in a second, more than two months we have seen that at least with the initial shots, you will have initial issues with fever, headache, muscle aches, Kind of the things that we see with other vaccines when we get them or when we got them as kids. We are also seeing that there appears to be a historical success, 90% success rate in the vaccine. Um, again, do we see this happen over time? We have to watch. The reason I mentioned the two month number is important. Two months is the traditional amount of time where you see side effects that occur if they're going to occur. Sure, there are outliers, and we may find there are outliers, but the vast majority of things happen in the first two months. So we know that we have seen some issues already with people who have allergies having a stronger reaction. So we have to watch that closely. We have to talk about it. Should people with severe allergies be getting the vaccine? Right now, they're saying no. They're also looking at people who are pregnant, because it hasn't been tested in people who are pregnant, so we're not going to give the vaccine to people who are pregnant. They're looking at people under the age of 16. Why? Because it hasn't been tested in people under 16. So what we're really looking at is, who are the groups who can get this vaccine initially? The next step, do you have to wear a mask after you get the vaccine? For a while, you will, and here's why. If you get the vaccine, it doesn't mean you can't get COVID. The theory is that you're much less likely to get COVID, and if you get COVID, you actually will have less severe of a case, but you still can carry the vaccine and spread it to others. And that's an important point. Remember, the way we reduce spread is by wearing the mask and hopefully by having a vaccine that works. So yes, we will be wearing masks for a while, but we may not have to have as much fear as we head to the department store or the grocery store because of the fact that we have some protection. How does the protection work? Well, it's an mRNA vaccine. An mRNA vaccine is one which actually fools your body. You get the injection. Your body develops a protein from the mRNA that has a little bit of COVID in it. That little spike, you've seen the round COVID ball? Well, that little spike you get one of them, not the whole deal. And your body goes, oh my gosh, there's an invader in here. I'm going to attack. And it attacks that spike. And by attacking that spike, it literally attacks COVID. You then have a reaction against COVID. So when you see the real thing, the minute it hits your body, the body starts attacking it. Now, here's why I think it's a good thing. First of all, it will attack COVID. But the second thing, and this is really important, is that we talk about that asymptomatic spread or the spread for people when they don't know they have it and they're walking around? Well, think about it. 
you're probably going to get the virus if you're even exposed. You get it, you're going to attack it, and you're actually going to destroy that virus and maybe have symptoms. If you have symptoms, you're going to stay home because it's the asymptomatic spread that's been the problem. So we're going to be getting that virus more and more out of society. And the final thing I want to talk about, herd immunity. Herd immunity was a horrible concept when they were talking about everybody naturally getting this virus. In fact, it was ridiculous because if 2% of people are going to die from a virus and you have 330 million people, you just can't let 6.6 .6 million people die to get herd immunity. I mean, it's not 1820. So what, by wearing the mask, we've bought ourselves time to a large extent. At this point, we still have about 300,000 people who have died and it's growing, but we have for those who have been thoughtful enough to try to protect others, it has had an impact and could have an even greater impact if more people wear the masks. But what we're going to have now with the vaccine is a growing number of people achieving herd immunity. Because if we can get 70% of the country vaccinated, that 70% number has been seen scientifically as a critical number that slows down the virus. And the reason it slows down the virus is the virus goes from person to person to person. Well, if 70% of the people are killing it, you can see how it gets out of society pretty quick. That is the major information I can tell you right now. What I want to do, again, because this is a, a way that we talk without sponsorship and without secondary gain, if we hear things, I'll let you know. But I want to caution you to be careful. Things will appear all over the Internet. There will be information that's going to get you very scared. Talk to your health professionals watch videos like this. Stay smart about this. I'll certainly be honest with you. I'll let you know if there's issues because information is our best weapon against COVID-19. Stay safe.